Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about, about the how to connect to the mongoose in the MongoDB. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the code for the connection. So those who haven't subscribed yet, please watch my previous video. So you come to know about that, how I have done this things or not. Okay. So here in the app, I have created the new config and here mongoose.js where we have the connection. So this is connection string. You know that. So you need to pass the connection string. This is your database name. So whether it's to be a CRUD, if you haven't created, just make it. It automatically create that database into your MongoDB table. Okay. So it will automatically create whatever database name you can mention over here. When it when the server restart, it automatically create and create the models also. So here we have the create the models. So let's go and create the models also. So here we have the config. Then we have a dash layer models. So here we have to create the customers users. So the name, age, and the email. You have to create that one. So then export default customers. Okay. After creating this, now we have to move to the API products then route.ts because we, i'm creating the api for that one so route.ts okay so here you need to import the connect db from the config mongoose and the customers from the models okay and you have to create export async function get api so first we do the connection that connect db first establish the mongodb connection after this we are just fine we are just using the mongoose query customers.find console.log data and returning the response if something went wrong, it will go with the next response.json. Make sure this is also used for the response message error and the status 500. Okay. Let's save it and let's go and check. Okay. So here we go with this one. Postman. So this is products. Let's try to send it. So there is error. What they say is that that override mongoose. I think we should restart it. Okay then try to send it here you can see the data is fetched okay so this is the data of the name age and the email already there and it is fetched over here right if you want to see the robo mongo i will show you the data also so i think there we have a crud operations right here we have the crud and we here we have a collections here we have the customers right so here you can see that the two customers, Tom and the first one is Rajnikanth. So though these two, that is Tom and the Rajnikanth is fetched over here and the database is connected over here. You can see that MongoDB connected, right? So this is how the MongoDB connection will done and you can fetch the records accordingly and then you can create the REST API and manipulate the things accordingly. Any doubt, any query, do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.